they're bracing for it too. They're only a few miles south, but but you know what? We need to have the old method of policing. Not everything was good, and we've progressed beyond many of those old methods. But right. one method that was good was to have what they used to call paddy wagons uh, ready yeah. ready to load the bad offenders into and process them for being taken down to the county jail. Some of the organizers in the community were wanting a 48 hours heads up on any, de any decision before it was announced. Not just what the decision was, but just if when the decision was coming. What do you make of that? I, 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 got, I got some calls today, Lieutenant Governor, where, where some folks in Ferguson were saying, we don't know if we're comfortable with that. What do you make of it? I, I don't understand that. That, that the authorities are under some kind of obligation to announce to protesters and would-be protesters to allow them to buy a plane ticket to come in from, uh, who knows, mm. Atlanta, Chicago, Detroit, and come in and protest. I, I've never heard of such a thing, and I can't imagine the authorities, uh, even in their worst moment, would cave into that. How difficult has it been in your perspective year and being there it's been I, I moved to Dallas as you know and as other watch as others watching this program know about eight months ago from St. Louis to Dallas I, I know that the the community leaders there who are really standing for peace religious leaders I mean not you know people like Al Sharpton and those but actual religious leaders that are trying to bring people to faith and and, and encourage peace they're having a difficult time with a lot of the out-of-town rabble-rousers and agitators